So uh, in order not to bore the pants off everybody, I'm going to cut to the chase. Um, I'm not doing a whole box opening. I'm just going to show the um, pipe so that everybody can enjoy um, what is um, some beautiful handiwork by the Boswells, um, as usual. I bought this off um, after seeing it on their website. They update their website every Thursday. Um, <coughs> as with all their new pipes, they give you check tool, some cleaners, box of matches. I've already opened the pipe, um, so this is a reveal. This is not a box opening. Um, just the, it comes in two pieces because it's a largish pipe, so I put it all together so we can see it as it is. So, as you can see, you can see what attracted me here. Stunning grain, beautiful uh, flame grain there. Um, but more than anything, it's the bent. I love a bent pipe, and I just love the way the Boswells bend the stems. Makes every pipe of theirs that has that, um, I think you'd call that a saddle stem. Um, it makes it a real chin hugger. Um, unusual shape as well. In the mouth, it's going to be... You know, if you're going to have that in your mouth like that, it's going to be pointing that way as opposed to like that. So that's unusual. Um, some nice bird's eye there. J.M. Boswell, 2016 USA. Nice deep bowl, tapered bowl. And um, the bowl goes till around there and the draft hole comes in a little bit higher up. So it'll be interesting to see how that smokes. You've got uh, the Boswell coating on the inside, the bowl coating, which I found on my uh, other Boswell, um, which was the Mini Umpol, which is this one. I found that the coating was like a magnet to um, sort of building your own um, sort of carbon coating on there. My other pipes, I'm pretty um, careful with my uh, uh, cleanliness on, on my pipes and I clean them after each smoke not a deep clean just a general surface clean but this one it the, the uh, tobacco or at least the residue the carbon residue clings to it and i can see that a a cake build up could happen quite fast on these um i'm assuming it's designed to, to, to happen that way um and the so far the the coating is is really uh, clingy very interesting coating compared to other pipes that i've got so yeah, very happy with this. Um, I'm gonna start it off with some of the uh, titles that came with it. You get a, an ounce of tobacco with every pipe, pipe purchase from the Boswells. So I'm gonna christen it with some of that. Okay, so uh, that's basically it. Um, I just wanted to do uh, a couple of comments on um, A Bird's web uh, on his YouTube clip, which he put up recently, Boston Briar, um, where he. Um, was basically telling people to to sort of ramp up their game with it when it comes to videos online. Um, like I said earlier on, I, I fully understand where he's coming from, um, but um, I myself am a relatively new contributor to YouTube, and in the beginning, uh, my videos were probably quite boring. Uh, maybe some people find them boring now as well. I've got no idea, um, but um, I suppose the the uh, evidence is in in whether or not people take an interest and, and watch your videos. Um, and hopefully people are watching them um, and I suppose you'd have to rely on feedback but the, the important thing is <clears throat> to understand a little bit of the nature of a contributor and I can only speak from my own uh, personal experience a person that contributes uh, somebody who contributes something of substance uh, generally speaking is contributing something of substance somebody who's and will have thought about it will want to actually contribute it's not just about putting something out there, putting yourself out there just for the sake of it. If somebody's doing it for the sake of it, then it will be a ramble, it will have no value. And um, and after a while, you'll just see that as what it is. It's just be continuous ramblings with no real value to it, no real information. Um, and even, you know, people who in society um, are altruistic and they do things for other people, there is always an element, however small, of, of um, I wouldn't say conceitedness, but that's the very nature of doing something altruistic, doing something on behalf of other people. You get some enjoyment out of that because you're doing something good for other people. Some people actually get enjoyment out of doing that. Um, so the most altruistic, the most giving, generous person in the world will have a small element of um, 
getting some benefit out of it for themselves. So therefore, you can't really have a go at people when they're contributing. They're doing it. Most of the people, I think, if you look at most of the, the, the videos, they all seem to be doing it to be entertaining, um, to provide information, to, to, uh, to give people something based on their own experience to share that experience. Um, there will be people, another thing which is important to understand is that there will be, be, be people at varying levels of um, familiarity with the community, so therefore they're finding their way, so their, their videos may not be fantastic and perhaps I would be in that bracket. I, I don't really know whether people like my videos or not and whether they like the whole format of, of, um, of not putting myself in the video. I've got no idea whether people like that or not. But people just have to do what they believe in. And um, as I said at the beginning, if people don't like it, they can just turn off. Um, that's the beauty of the internet. Nobody forces anybody to do anything. And what's good for one person may not be good for the next person. So it's very hard to make a sweeping statement like that where where uh, you're saying do things better because of what's better for you might be, better, might be worse for somebody else. So I think the most important thing is for people to stick to what they believe in Try to make it interesting, of course, but what's interesting for that person might be different and boring for somebody else. So you have to really satisfy yourself that you're doing something which you would find interesting. There will be a percentage of people out there who will share your interest and there will be a percentage of people who won't share your interest. But as long as you stick to, your be to being yourself, that I think is the most important thing of anything. When people go out there and they try to pretend to be somebody else or they try to put on a different character, um, you know, that's where the problems start, where people become inconsistent and people start to just try to mimic and pretend to be something that they're not. That's where, that's where I think um, I would be unhappy with that. Um, unless, you know, you're making it clear that you're an act and, and that uh, you're, you're a mimic and, and, and this thing. But as I said, the most important thing for me is for people to be true to themselves. There will always be, out of the billions of people on, the uni on this world, there will be some people who share your interest. So therefore, you don't have to try and always pander to the masses. Just pander to yourself. Just be yourself. And any information that you put out there, any clips that you put out there, make it interesting for you. And then surely there will be some people out there who share your interests. Um, so have a great day and keep it real.